today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to organize your life while traveling. So I've actually been traveling since March and I've been all over Southeast Asia. And these are some things I've been doing that I've found really helpful. So I thought I would share them with you guys. And you guys should also go follow me on Instagram right now. It's just at Laura Reed because I've been posting all of my travel photos there. And let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is organize my clothes by separating my clothing from my bathing suits and my undergarments. And I picked up these at Walmart and they make packing so quick and easy. Then I also have these plastic ones that I put my makeup in one and then all of my liquids in the other. So my next tip is to plan out your outfits when you're packing and this will make your life so much easier because then you'll know that you have just the right amount of clothes and it will prevent you from overpacking, which I am really guilty of doing. Then what you can also do to remember all the outfits that you had planned out is just take photos of them and then you can refer back to those photos when you're trying to figure out what outfits you want to wear for that day. And I actually took photos of all of my clothing and bathing suits that I brought with me on my five month backpacking trip and then I uploaded them to an app called Snaps, which is a social media organizer. It's a bit of a mix between Instagram and Pinterest. And then you can upload photos of your own stuff and you put them on virtual shelves, which is really cool and it keeps everything organized. And you guys should go follow me. My profile name is just Laura Reed. I will have it linked down below. And is it just me or do you guys love creeping the bathing suits that other people own? Um, so I took photos of all of my bikinis and I have them in one of my shelves if you guys want to go take a gander and I'd uploaded some of the outfits I had worn and named it outfits of the world I thought that was a pretty creative um, get it huh so to create a new shelf you just go to add items and then you select all of the photos you want to add to that one shelf and then you can put in all the details about where you got it for each different photo you just press edit and I named this shelf shirts super creative I know and then boom you've just landed an organization station so if you guys want to know all the items I brought with me while traveling you can go creep my suitcase and view all of my different shelves and you might be surprised to realize that I actually didn't bring a whole lot of clothes yet I was able to still make a lot of outfits but then I also visited places where I needed a bit more fancy outfits. So as you can see, I did bring some like white pants and then I had a few skirts and dresses with me as well that could kind of be dressed up or down, which I found was really nice when traveling. And if you guys want me to add my shoe collection to one of my shelves as well, leave a comment down below and then I will get that going for you guys. And so you can actually create any type of shelf you want as well, whether it be makeup or accessories or nail polishes. And I love creeping on other people's makeup collections because my makeup collection is very small and humble. So people who have like tons of lip glosses and tons of highlighters, I just am all over that. And the app is also free to download as well. So it really doesn't get any better than this. So the next thing to keep your travels way more organized is to write down all of your expenses and I find this so, so helpful. It's a great way to keep your finances in line and helps with making sure you don't overspend or lose any money. And so another thing you can do to keep your life organized is just write down all of your dates and this is really helpful if you're visiting multiple cities because showing up to an airport a day late would not be fun. So the next tip is just to do your research and I found this so helpful while backpacking. I would look up bus and train schedules online and it saved me a lot of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you found some of these tips helpful. Leave any questions you have down below and I will make sure to answer those. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I literally just waved. I waved and I'm forming a voiceover.